Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Ross here and welcome back to the channel. Another video on City Skylines and another mod highlight. Today's mod highlight will be on Traffic Manager. Traffic Manager is found on the Steam Workshop and is very, not necessarily new, but new in the sense where it's not necessarily that old, but the game's not that old, so whatever. Now, I'm going to go over not only what the Traffic Manager does, but also maybe a somewhat quick guide on how to use its features. Now, I'm no expert in this, so if you have questions that I don't answer, uh, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll try to find out the answers. But probably the best bet is to go to the Steam Workshop page and actually ask it to the developer. Because, just like you, I learned the game as well. So, starting with Disabled Despawning. Now, disabled despawning actually stops traffic from despawning, and what happens is traffic actually, if it takes too long, will actually despawn. Now, clear traffic it very much means clear traffic. Like, uh, you see all these cars? Uh, goodbye. Car's gone. Bye. Now, cars are going to show up because cars just spawn out of nowhere. It's amazing. Now the next feature in the mod is add and remove crosswalks. So if you have a long stretch of road and you want people to be able to cross it from here to there, like there's a bus stop right there, I want them to take the most direct route, I can just click here and it adds a nice little crosswalk right there. And you can do this pretty much on any roads and so if you have a long stretch of road, you can just add them in. I like it, I really do, and it definitely works well for my long one ways that don't have anything else on them. I can just add in my crosswalks here and there, and now my people can actually cross the street, which can help them get from point A to point B faster. The change lane feature lets you do exactly just that. We can actually click on any road here, and we'll click on this one, and what we can do right here is we can change these three lanes. Now this lane is going right and straight, the middle one is going straight and left, and then the far lane is just going left. So if we like, we can change lane 1, lane 2, or lane 3, so let's make it so that it can only go straight, and lane 3 can go only go right. So you can do this with any lanes, you can do it on off ramps, you can do it on on ramps, one ways, not so much because, well, they can kind of only go so many different ways. But you can just change them to any kind of direction that you want. So this one, let's say, like, this is only going all straight, it says. But it is making left-hand turns for some reason. But we can actually say that is permanently the left-hand turn. That's the, that, uh, that one. And then we'll make this the permanent right-hand turn. So, you know, it's pretty useful. And also just lets you kind of design your city and your traffic the way you want it. The next is probably one of the most difficult things to do with this mod. It's time traffic lights. And if we start on this long piece of stretch, just like in a real city, avenues usually have timed lights in the sense that this entire straightaway would all be green at the same time. This is something that City Skylines does not do very well. Now what we can do is actually do it for them now. So we can select multiple nodes. There's stoplight. There's a stoplight. There's a stoplight, and there's a stoplight. So now we've selected four different stoplights along this route. We can make all four of these timed. If we hit next and add state, we can hit add state, and now we can not only change the crosswalks, we could change the nodes where this one is green, that one's gonna be red, this will be green, that's gonna be red. Uh, and I'm basically making all the on path uh, to the entrances or exits for this, uh, these four um, four intersections, good, and the main path red light. Now you can also ch change this to where you can actually change the nodes. And if we go down here and change the node, we can see that, or the change mode that is, we can see that we could actually make this permanently a right hand turn. Is right, you can make a right on red. But if you do that before warned, you have to change the crosswalk because then the crosswalk will always be red. So you're gonna have to put it in manual and make it a green. Now we can just put it like this for right now. And then what we're gonna do is put the timer and then we're gonna make it 10 seconds. Now, if you add a state, now we need to make these uh, on and offs red, and we need to make the main route green. Red, green, green, red, green, 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 and red. So now our entire avenue is green at the same time. We can make this double the time, so we'll make this 20 seconds long, or 20 counts, because it's not seconds really. 
we add that and now we have a finished product we could add different states to this if you want you can make some lights turn green some lights turn red and you could actually have this probably go up to stages of like states of four or five and get make it pretty complex but we could actually just hit start here and watch our progress work and we can see that all of them turn green at the same time now and the avenue moves in one unison you can see the state counter goes off and then they all turn red and then the other state turns on and then back to green so this is very useful for long strips of uh, road so use it it's pretty cool manual traffic lights is kind of just like that what it says you click on the intersection and the intersection will stay exactly the lights that it had when you actually clicked on it until you actually change it and make that red and now i can make these green now this could be useful if for doing time traffic lights you want to see how intersection behaves and what it can do with just having a small maybe six sec uh, second counter there and you can actually see your counter like okay well yep 15 seconds is good there and then see how long it takes to actually have this clear out on this side so now we could have three different states for this this traffic light alone and it, we could actually get this going pretty easily with not so much traffic build up because that side doesn't need that much uh, counters so yeah on to the next the last two options that you have or first two if you think about it, i started at the bottom is tr uh, add priority signs and switch traffic lights now these actually have to be used in conjuncture and i'll show you why here this is the way how the street usually looks if we hit add priority signs right now we can't do anything we have to switch the traffic lights off then hit add priority signs and we can now switch them so we can add stop signs we can add yield and also just uh, straight through so we could add this stop sign on this little small road and then just take out the extra um the extra stoplights that we just don't want in the city it, it helps out a lot and also is quite useful so that will end today's mod highlight video on traffic manager mod now i hope you guys enjoyed the video and also i hope that you learned something about what the traffic manager mod can do for you as a mod in city skylines for me it was a little overwhelming at the beginning especially watching and it's like oh my gosh i have to con you know control all these different light patterns but it actually is very easy to do and also comes kind of naturally because we all use traffic lights on an everyday uh, thing so you kind of know that when tra one traffic light ends the other one has to stop and crosswalks and everything is not permanent and it's easily fixed you don't really have to worry about the save games so much because you can just entirely clear it out and just put in a brand new stoplight and then don't worry about it. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit the thumbs up. It does mean so much to me when, uh, with all the likes. Uh, I really do greatly appreciate it. And if you are new to the channel and like this content, please do subscribe and join my community. Talking about community, I don't know if you guys seen the, the latest video, but I now have a Facebook page. Please go over, go over to my Facebook page, hit the like button, and join me on Facebook so we can chat about video games and nerd stuff and Star Wars. Ah, Star Wars, yes. But as always, I'm the Flying Ross, and I'll check you guys next time.